Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Glory, glory, glory. I want everybody to know that's been on the morning calls. I feel great. Uh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, I had to press through this morning and also Thursday morning. I, well, I didn't know what was going on. Straight up, um, just warfare. Y'all know that. But God is so good. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Day nine, feeling fine. Come on, somebody. Day nine of the 21-day liquid fast. And I don't know about you, but I see things happening already from the inside out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is doing spiritual sur surgery. It is like transformation, spiritual transformation like never before. Go ahead, tag and share because I feel, you know, and I feel the Holy Ghost. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. So praise God. I pray that y'all can hear me and see me, but I heard God say, push through till your breakthrough. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. But you have to understand that in this transition, the enemy wants to move you out of position. You got to stay strong in this hour. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. And close cuts. Oh, I want to talk about close cuts. What is close cuts? Close, cu cl uh, close cuts are people and things that are close to you that the enemy use. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But you got to stay strong no matter what, no matter who. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I feel that thing. I feel that thing in my spirit. Everybody's not on the fast, and I really wish y'all was. Oh, my God, I wish the whole world was, just to be honest with you. I know that's probably overthinking. But at the same token, I know that everybody that's on this fast, God says he's getting ready to do something like never before. I'm not just saying that. that is, this is not just a cliche. I'm I'm telling you, I feel it in my life. I feel more powerful. Of course, you know, um, we're also losing a lot of weight. So be mindful to drink water. Be mindful to take your vitamins. Be mindful to, um, if you have any kind of conditions, make sure you keep in touch with your primary care doctor. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But I'm telling you right now, I didn't know it was going to be this easy. I'm not saying that it's that I don't have my moments. I'm not saying that I don't have those times where I'm like, oh, God, oh, my God, what, what are we doing? But I tell you one thing. It is just so great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love what God is doing. It's like he's challenging us. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. In every area of our lives. You know what I'm saying? I have been in my word. I have been praying for you guys and I pray that you continue to stay fast. Uh, st be steadfast, unmovable in God like never before. I'm telling you right now, just hold on. Now, I'm going to tell you also, you're going to have your tests and you're going to have your trials because I've had a few even since the fast. And I said, God, it's only been nine days and you have kind of like showed me some things that I didn't really want to see just to be honest with you. And I said, okay, then that's what it is. Then that's what it's going to be. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. God is getting ready to take us to another level. And I'm not kidding. This is not just a fast. I feel the transformation. I see it in the spirit like never before as a matter of fact i'm preparing myself mentally physically and spiritually oh come on somebody hallelujah y'all know let me tell y'all something a lot of people don't know what apostle mean apostle means sent what am i saying i give i'm, I'm getting ready for another move i don't know where i can feel it i say okay god you're getting ready to up uproot me so i know wherever it is i gotta be strong come on somebody hallelujah a lot of people don't understand they say apostle you know why you don't do this or do that that's why i think that god has rooted me in a church because i am the church come on somebody hallelujah and like i said the apostle word the apostle means sent that means wherever god takes me wherever he does i have to go come on somebody that is an assignment i'm always on assignment come on somebody hallelujah so i pray that you understand that you too are on assignment come on somebody you got to stay strong in this hour and so i just want to get up here and encourage you guys i know i'm talking fast but i just feel the power of the holy ghost you know when you're on any type of fast your spirit your spirit your spirit is full like never before my spirit is full my spirit is happy my spirit can feel something that's about to shift now i'm not gonna lie it's, it, it gets hard sometimes but you gotta hold on be strong it doesn't matter and i have to tell you this watch who you connect with while you're on this fast because the enemy will send people to try to drain you to try to take you off your course to try to upset you to try to worry you all kind of foolishness and i'm gonna tell you right now i'm nipping that in the bud i don't care who you are i'm c -c come on somebody hallelujah snip snip whatever you don't hear what i'm saying so stay strong hold on because guess what nine days that means we've got what 12 more days and tomorrow gonna be 10 days oh my god i don't know i don't know i'm telling you i'm looking for i'm looking forward to the testimonies i'm looking forward to what god's gonna do in your life like never before it's not just your ordinary fast y'all don't hear me y'all don't hear me y'all don't hear me and yes the enemy had me y'all oh for two days i i don't know what was going on my health 
I, I pushed through it though. I pushed through it. And he kept trying to tell me, eat, eat. I said, no, devil, you are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. I, it's not food I need. I, I need more scripture. I need more prayer. And I need to push through. Hallelujah. And I feel great right now. I said, praise God. Praise God. So I pray that you just stay strong in the Lord. I pray that you keep fasting. I pray that we finish strong. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm going to go. I might get back on here later. I'm sorry I had to go fast because I'm actually getting ready to go somewhere. Somebody's waiting on me. But I had to get on here and encourage you guys because guess what? We need each other. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and that's what God is doing too. If you've been on the calls, God is trying to... This new church that's coming up, the remnant, we're going to really be there for each other. Y'all ain't ready for me. We're really going to love each other. Y'all ain't ready for me. We're really going to trust each other. The church now, nah, don't nobody trust nobody. Everybody gossiping. Everybody doing all this little crazy stuff. Treating people like like you brand new. Oh, I'm just being real. The way we treat each other, like you brand new. Like 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 you ain't never been down. Like you ain't never been up. You know what I'm saying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But this remnant here, which I am a part of, we're going to love each other back to life. We're going to be there for each other. We're going to speak that word for each other. We're going to labor for each other. We're going to pray for each other. We're going to fast for each other. That's what I hear in the spirit. Love one another like never before. That is our power. You don't understand? The enemy has been bringing division all in the church because he knows divided we cannot stand. But it's unity. Y'all thought it was just about the gifts huh? and the talents and the character. No, no, no. It's about that unity. And that's what he tries to separate. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Even some relationships. Y'all don't even understand why the enemy comes to try to take you from somebody that has been mentoring you or even just a friend. The enemy don't want you with somebody that really know how to pray. Somebody really powerful. Y'all think I'm kidding, huh? Come on, somebody. He ain't never said it was going to be a bed of roses. But I'll tell you one thing. If you got somebody that know how to pray, I suggest you hold on to him. If you got somebody that really real, I suggest you hold on to him. If you got somebody that know how to press in, I suggest you hold on to him. Y'all don't hear what I said, huh? So praise God. I know I was do do do. Y'all know I'm from Louisiana country, <laughs> but praise God anyway. I love you guys. I do it. I just love this fast. I ain't lying. Oh my God. And okay, I like the idea also that I'm losing weight. Y'all got me. I'm looking so good. I'm thinking about marrying myself. <laughs> All right, y'all. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who you are. <clears throat> Let's get it.